ahead, Talia, and have Royland beat me in the courtyard. How's it going, everyone? My name is Necro, and welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Hope you enjoy. Fuck do you want? What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. Fuck you, Bernie. <laughs> Stop and disperse. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? Who the fuck is that pretty cunt? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth born son oh, of Griff, Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, hey? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognise you. Fuck, I'll be right back. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> oh, there we go. Bastards, man. Can you check a parcel for next door? Okay. Oh, aren't you a good lad? Fucking. Can't you stick it in their fucking post box, you wrinkly old cunt? For fuck's sake. Ah, oh. uh, right. Fucking interrupting my gameplay! Okay, I'm back. Fucking hell. Right, let's adjust my mic one second. There we go. Now we're back. Alright, uh, I'm the Lord of Ironrath. Fuck you. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. Fuck what? you. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. You'll fucking stay there. You're off or not, you'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? Your men aren't fucking guests. I'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. Fuck this is you. against the king's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roose Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever. We do what we were sent here to do. Fuck you're mad, Griff. 
This is my house, and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now! Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. Fucking go for it. Give me the fucking option. Oh, you know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Stop fucking stopping. Don't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? Yes. I'm the only lord here. Come on. I'm going to do everything I can to fucking attack those guys first fucking chance I get. Griff Whitehill. That snot nose fourth ball. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. Whether he rides out on horseback or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. Oh, yeah, that's true. They've still got Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. They look Ramsay like dildos. Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't forsake his safety. Fucking will if I have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, I've got to fucking choose between save Ryan or expel Griff. Well, we can take care of Griff and get our house back. Or, by the sounds of it, we're basically going to be taking our little army and going to save Ryan. And if we do that, then we're going to have Griff behind us. And the rest of these bastards in front. Ah, uh, I'm expelling him. Fuck it. <clears throat> we have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Knowing the White Hills, they'd gut him and leave him at our gates. Forgive me, my lady. Yeah, we're not giving up Ironrath. True. Would you give up this house? But your brother! We must secure Ironrath, so we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. Who's Ryan? It's decided. Don't know. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitals are already fortified inside Ironrath. Unfortunately... Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. We already you fucked that up. We have Jesus. The of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. Uh, I have faith in my children. 
I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come, but it's not now. Bloody hell, man. The White Hills aren't ready for war. I've pretty much already fucked us over for the long run. <laughs> Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter? The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Can we trust it? Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives, but it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. All right. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point when the time comes. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers, they're just all wrong in the Crown Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? No. Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. Oh, fuck. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current fuck. one, you'll deny me all you like. Uh, he has blows to the ground. Go with Tyrion. Please excuse fuck. me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I think he's at the moment he is our best bet I don't for, them, think for the money. Oh listen. fuck! Although after tonight, I suspect. Hang, I hang on, no, 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 no. He, he's. What is it? What Keeper of the want, coin? Is it called? Oh, there's much unpleasant think... business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. Oh, that's our money. Okay. Sits on my desk now. Now I'll have my squire Podrick. I was about to say, she's she's about to fucking marry You'll bring Joffrey, so family. she'll technically lucky to have be in control you. of it as well. What do I owe in return? Thank you, mustn't delay. You honour me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. Oh, Jesus, this flash is My lord, do I still owe you a favour? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Man, we're gonna get right slap in from Marjorie now. Today of all days. You know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. <laughs> I'll That's deal fine. with you after the wedding. Don't give a shit about your gown. Come with me, Sarah. Or your pubes, you bitch. Fuck you looking at me like that for? Shriveled up old prune. Karen. Doing that all Easy wrong. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? There's news that House Forrester is in trouble. I'm sorry to hear it, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. Uh, the big guy. You know these men. You, Jon Snow. Who do you want watching your back? Finn is going to fight Cotter is smart. I can't... Uh, I, 
Doctor! Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Herald Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept, and finally we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this one to the Boltons. Oh, it's that, that bastard. Garrett. Garrett, what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the Maester. Don't do something you regret. If it isn't the fucking pig bomber. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the war for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Oh, it's fucking Guess over. Guess what's your back? What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the war. Brother, looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. Well, she chose you to fucking help. You just don't get it, Sarah. I've been fighting for my family's lives here, and what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved them. Whether you have a seat at the wedding just isn't as important. I see. Well, I hope it was worth it. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. I've got a fucking when clue. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. I can handle this. She's only thinking about it, right? There's still time. It's funny how things change, isn't it? Oh, she's going to be all uppity about it. Not too long ago, I was asking for your help with Marjorie. Oh, fucking hell. And here we now go. here we are, with you on the outside needing my help. I didn't ask for your help. So, go on. Ask me for oh, it. Fuck. Unless you want Marjorie to make you leave King's Landing. Because you're pushing her to it. Okay, don't fuck accept it. accept my help. And you'll find yourself on a boat home by morning. Sarah, I was wrong not to offer you my help. I can only ask you to be a better friend than I was to you. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. You better. I'm not letting her send you <laughs> home. Look, the pie! Oh no! Oh, look, the They're pie. already serving the pie. Oi. We're missing everything. I know you. Oh fuck. Oh, it's that guy. Gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't what think I don't know it was you. I don't forget a face. So what if I was with him? Uh, seven hells. You there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Screw you, big nose. Excuse me, can I wipe him down? <laughs> I've got your wet cloth. <laughs> well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that oh. was all about. Thank we all you. have our own mischief to hide. 
That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? He wants a tug. Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. That ironwood was stolen from my family. It was never yours to sell. Spoken with strength, my lady. But still, I wonder if you're ready to play this game. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. I know he has a plan. Which I assume was about undermining your honor. Oh, I have no doubt that was part of it. Yet Tyrion Lannister is more clever by half. He only brought you into that throne room to turn us against each other. To get the cheapest ironwood from you. He played you. Played us all. Like little toys. Do you think it matters to me what he paid or why he chose me? My family won. That's all I care about. And that, my lady, is why I'm talking to you. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? What's in it for me? An alliance can mean many things, my lord. I would be a fool to say yes without knowing what I was saying yes to. Wisely put. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? control the price of ironwood together. We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehall? Who has proven to be very interested in it? Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Oh, yeah, of course, he's dying, isn't he? I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Oh, fuck. Tell me sake. that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. No. Oh, no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task. Especially now, but if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. That'll be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next episode.